It's the Dave and Doc Podcast. Doctor recommended. Take only as directed. May cause dizziness, blurred eyesight, a sense of nervousness, anxiety, loss of sleep, diarrhea, a sense of wonderment, a new meaning of life, minor memory loss, and could cause B.O. in rare occasions. Hello, hello. Happy day, happy day. Back at night. Back at night. We're seeing the light. Seeing the light. Still man, in you my, are in the light. I'm and still I'm in, in my the, coach's I'm a little, little, I know, right, man? Little, little red and white action. Yeah. Up in the halls. Up in the halls. Uh, just By uh, Dave Mann. Just got back from the stadium, as a matter of fact. That's awesome. Yeah. That's little, awesome. little red white game tonight uh, for spring football for middle school. Getting it started early. It's for the Mac. The Mac. The Mac. I like it. The, I guess, that middle school athletic conference or maybe. Sure it is. I don't the, know what it is, actually. It's the Mac. I play with you. We got football in the Mac. And it's the athletic conference. Y'all practice in the Mac. It just means more if you practice in the Mac. I bet it's the middle athletic. It, that, I mean, it's, it's something. I don't know what it is. He's, um, he's Coach Dave. I am Coach Dave. And I'm Doc. <laughs> it's, it's, I, I don't coach anything. And this is episode 51 of the Dave and Doc podcast. I am competitive. Yes. You are 51, competitive. 51, a little bit. Uh, episode 51 and uh, all things Dave and Doc at DaveAndDoc.com. That's Dave, A-N-D, Doc, D-O-C, dot com. There you go. Now, on with the program. And now, on with the program. That's a little pre-roll <laughs> is what that's called. I like that. Thank you, sir. That there was go. good. A little pre-roll. Because... We know <laughs> that you are the professional broadcaster. Yes, I am a and, professional broadcaster. And, and Someone and else in Knoxville is a professional broadcaster. And yes, the the beef goes on. There have there been some. Yes, there are some requests out there to get to get some of that rolling with with the the fantastic Mark of yeah. Mark and Kim in the morning. Yeah, I don't know if they actually want to see like you know a fist fight or more like a verbal assault or just or yeah. just. I, you know. I mean, I you know, I'm 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 more of a lover, not a fighter. So I mean, you do have a kid in each decade, so it's just right. <laughs> walk, I, can, walk. I can walk by you and get you pregnant. Um, Sprinkle it. So so Mar- maybe Mark and I could see uh, just how fast we could get someone pregnant because I know I can beat him. I know I can beat him. Speaking of daddy, <laughs> we're ready for dad jokes. Hey, there it is. <laughs> I don't have daddy dad jokes, but you know, it's it's mowing season. And some, some of our popular listeners, you know, they, they like to do, you know, that. They listen to this podcast while they're mowing the grass. Oh, yeah. Some, some, do, it for, some do it for money. Some do it just because they have to because their land requires it. So so I thought we'd do some mowing jokes, okay? Okay. I'm good. So, so we're ready. Yeah. Okay. And this is actually a soccer mowing joke. What's the difference between the Argentina national team and a lawnmower? Yeah, what's that? You can't run the lawnmower on choke for 95 minutes. <laughs> so. Of course, they won this year, so you can't really use But it, I thought that was kind of funny. God, I hate soccer. Me too. But I, I thought that was kind of funny. It is funny. Um, what did the kinky lawnmower say to get turned on? <laughs> what? Choke me, daddy. Oh, no. <laughs> it's the night broadcast. That's a twofer. Oh. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Oh, there's that's bad. That one's racist. I'm not doing that. Sorry. Um, something's wrong with my lawnmower. It only runs when it's fully choked. <laughs> it's officially kinkier than I am. <laughs> Knew it was coming. <laughs> and the last one. Why did the frog jump under the lawnmower? Um, why is that? He wanted to commit suicide. Oh my god. I apologize. You like that one. I that, like that one was actually funny. pretty good. Hey, you know, we got a bunny in our backyard. Oh. oh um, <laughs> and no, 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 no one's killed the bunny. Okay, okay. We, we've named him. We've named him Thumper. He's a little brown bunny with a little white tail. I got you. And so I've started feeding the bunny. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to get some actual rabbit yeah. food. Here's what I've learned. Okay. Rabbits actually don't like carrots. Okay. This, this rabbit doesn't anyway. I mean, he I lives see. under my shed. They like lettuce. Don't they? I don't, I don't know. They they like leafy things. Leafy yeah, I mean, things, I think you're yeah. right. So, yeah. um, clover. You got a lot of clover in your backyard? Uh, not anymore because we got a bunny. There you but go. Yeah, the bunny. The bunny. Bunny yeah, time. So, so stop. So bunny time. Thumper. Thumper is uh, living in the backyard. So we're gonna try to get him. Uh, 
I might even get him a little house. Well, you know, a little, little, little bunny good. house. A little bunny yeah. house. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to get him to like come to me. Like he's getting closer. Yeah. But uh how about that? He's kinda kinda gaining some trust. He's gaining some he trust. He knows you're not gonna eat him. Oh, well, that's totally what we're gonna do. Oh, no, I'm jo- I'm joking. But no, no, God, for God's sakes. Here we go. PETA, PETA has officially canceled the sponsorship. Off, pissed off Mark and Kim and a PETA said off, that yeah. is it. That is it. Um, um yeah, the ASPCA also has now officially canceled. The A. We cannot. SPCA. <laughs> That's how you do it. Um, uh, so, uh, kind of a somber thing to start oh, here. Yeah, sorry. Uh, yes. uh, just um, yeah. This uh, is this is bad. You mentioned uh, this right before. We got this on is air. Uh, so you know. I, I do coach. I did. I just came from the field, and uh, I've coached for um, uh, in the Knoxville area for about ten years now, and um, had the, had the opportunity and honor to coach uh, this gentleman's uh, kids, and and will continue to coach them now as they've they've come up to the ranks where I'm coaching. Um, uh, Matt Cantrell uh, left behind a wife and three kids, a uh, terrible accident the other night and taken way too soon. Um, and if you don't, know Matt, and this is, I mean, this is for a Knoxville listener. So if you don't live in Knoxville, then, you know, you're probably not going to know Matt. But uh, great guy, great coach. Kids loved him on the team and uh, three great kids uh, and a wife. And uh, good Lord, you just, you realize how fragile life is, you know, uh, just, you know, I mean, we had practice Tuesday night, you know, so, I mean, it's just, you know, it can when, happen, when, when it this can happen, happen, it can happen that quickly and it, it sure can. And I mean, I, I'm telling you, you're a doctor, you see it, but I mean, it's, you know, it, it just, it just kind of makes you think and it kind of makes you reset every time that somebody close to you like that, sure. uh, has an accident and, and passes away. Uh, in the description of the video, if you're watching this and if you're listening, it, it'll be there as well. If you, if you, if you go to the description, will be a link for a GoFundMe to help to, for, for his, uh, um, for all the services yeah, for the, the for arrangements and, and, um, and care of him, care of him. And, and we're doing this on Thursday night. The podcast probably won't hit till Saturday, but they're trying to raise about eight grand and I think it's up to 6,000 already. So wow. it's unbelievable. That's awesome. That's so, awesome. uh, if you can and you're, and you're willing to, uh, or maybe I said that wrong, if you're willing to, and you can. Um, then, uh, please, please donate whatever you can. There's no minimum amount, you know, uh, toss a dollar in there if you can anything, because, um, that's just, that's a tough time. And the last thing you want to worry about, uh, when something like that happens is, you know, how do you pay for this and that? And, you know, so if, if that's just taken care of, that's one less burden for a family that's grieving. So, um, we, we normally don't talk about sad stuff on the show. And uh, if if Matt was listening right now, he'd be like, what the hell are you doing? Right, let's right. stop talking. Let's, let's go what, on. Come let's on. Go, right, right. But, uh, um, well, I appreciate and, you bringing that up. I mean, I think... I, 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 think, I, I think those things, think you know... It's a very worthy cause. Uh, yeah, and, and I mean... Just the, the, just the suddenness of things. Yeah. It's I mean, just, literally, like you said, you you had practice and you were talking to him on, yeah. t- on Tuesday. You're just you're talking to the guy and then and, the next and thing, then you know. And then something, an accident, um, just something unexplained happens. And, yeah. Yeah, and it's just, I mean, it's just, it's just a tragedy. I mean, it really is. Um, and, and I know it happens everywhere in the world. It happens all the time. Uh, but you know, it's, uh, I mean, he was, I, I knew him and he was, he was, you know, close to me and, uh, uh, great kids too. I mean, just some of the greatest kids and, uh, I look forward to continuing to coach them. And, uh, the good thing about the kids is they've got a big football family. It's not going to be, and his wife as well. I mean, it's a big football family here in Knoxville, and plenty of support, um, which is important. Just as as soon as you think a community uh, sometimes is, uh, you know, a little uh, disconnected, something like this happens, and all of a sudden, boom! It's like, okay, there are some good people out there. Right. So uh, good to see, and I'm glad that the and, and by the time the podcast hits, they may have hit their goal and above, and I hope so. I hope they I hope they triple it um, uh, for the family. So. Anyway, that'll be in the the, the description and the link uh, for this for the video and the audio version of the podcast. Uh, uh, so, um, yeah, that was uh, yeah, that's all I got for that. So, Matt and his family, and uh, we just want to sympathy for them, thoughts and prayers, and all that. I you know you don't know what to say in that in those times, and what I've always like said is just you know hey if you need me let me know i i don't know what you need but whatever you need right. let me know so if you're a friend of that family or know them and you want know, to give them a call stop by check on them or whatever that's that would probably be the the best thing you could do so um 
And even if you're listening to this podcast right now, then go ahead and, and, and click on the link and do something there. Right. But, uh, right. but yeah, so, uh, sad, 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 uh, sad thing there. But, uh, uh, I know that's, that's tough to, to start the podcast out on a note like that, but, um, but I think something important, I mean, you know, obviously we, we, we like to joke around and we like to have fun and yeah. talk about different things, but I think anytime, yeah, I, th- I think that's, that's good to, 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 to realize just how serious things are and, and putting that out there. And, and it's, it's, again, it's, it's for a worthy cause and, and, yeah. and helping a, helping a family out. So, um, you know, I, I think that's, I think that's a good thing. I think that's good. And so, so I'm glad, I'm glad that, that you, you knew of things. I'm glad that this is existing. I'm glad we have a, a little bit of a platform. Yeah, absolutely. Um, just to announce that. So, so yeah, that's yeah. it. So we'll be thanking and praying for them and, and yeah, please go to the link and, if if you're able to do so and willing to do so, um, you know, please just any any small donations greatly appreciated. Yeah, uh, nice little thing, a nice uh, moment of silence for him tonight <coughs> on the football field, good. and uh, good. I thought that was great too. And uh, you know, the kids played hard, and you know, kids are resilient. Uh, people are resilient too. I mean, people lose people all the time, and True. you just you gotta True. it's you gotta move on. And it is it is one of the unfortunate parts of life. It really is. Even though I feel like I'm going to live a long time. <laughs> I'm not sure, but, <laughs> and you're sitting there going, oh, I've seen your test results, buddy. Uh, we've got to talk about that. As a matter of fact, speaking of your health. Yeah. Oh um, yeah. You know, uh, how's your back? So, uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, so <laughs> this is so stupid. So, <laughs> So the back was it's not a loaded question. I no, probably. I know. So, so you and I talked about the back last week, yes. and uh, and now it's back. And I said, it is waka waka. And I said, you know, hey doc, what can I do? And you said, how much meth have you taken? I'm like, I'm afraid I've taken too much. Yeah, that's what I, I was really. I was a little really worried about that. Yes, the M class, M class of medicines, <laughs> melatonin, meth. It's all the same. And so you 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 recommended a tens unit. I did. Um, and so I said, you know what? Okay. So I, I got, uh, one on Amazon is I'm going to, I'm going to link that also in the show. Uh, I, I'll tell you why I'm going to link it here in just a second. Cause I'm going to be completely transparent about why I'm linking that. But he, here's the, here's the truth about it. Uh, it was like 60 bucks and good Lord. I mean, it, it made a world of difference to the muscle. I mean, like four, I did, I did the four pads. It's got yes. the four pads. Yeah. Yeah. And I put it up on like the highest, uh, uh, kind of like uh, I'm stabbing you in the back. Yes, that's kind of what it felt like. Yeah, and um, and you know the after intensity a, of of the whew, pulsation, yes, the blood flow and all that stuff, mm-hmm. and like mm-hmm. it loosened me. Right oh man, up. it's fantastic. And then and then I kind of slept on my neck wrong, and now my neck's jacked up. But that's but but that's okay. I can live with. Hey, that. you can stick it up there on your neck. Yeah, I found you really you could, can. I put it all kinds of places. <laughs> Let yo, me tell you what I can hey do. Yo, hey yo, um, it does get a little intense, but um, you know, if you turn it up to whatever, and I don't even know what all the things do. I just, I just keep pushing buttons until, until the shit just. I mean, typically, typically, there's different, different settings in terms of the intensity, yeah. and then also the actual um, rhythm of the it, right, yeah, of, of the the, I, the 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 pulsation. I signal. did try it. I did try it. It's like got little. It's got a little cartoon drawing of a guy holding his back, like yeah. he's in a lot of pain. Right. And it goes from one to four. So I put it on four, and then you can, like, raise the level. Yes. And I yes. put the level all the way up. Yes. And the, here, here's exclusive audio of me when when I did that. I put it all the way up. It was on four. I turned it on. and oh, And then I had to turn it down a little bit. But um, It was a little too intense. I thought you were going to say you put it on your taint. And then you just went to town, and I was going to say, Dave, that's probably too much information for the people that's, at home. That's where it's at right now. That's why I'm still awake. <laughs> little monster, little taint, and an empty house. <laughs> and electricity. What and could a, go wrong? And a bunny in the backyard. <laughs> and a bunny thumper in the backyard. Maybe I imagined him. Maybe maybe something's wrong. There but is no bunny. It's the myth. There's also the no myth. backyard. It's the myth. It's the myth. Um, so, yeah. So, I, I got the TENS unit on your recommendation. Um, uh, you it's, know. Yeah. And, uh, oh, man, it worked. I mean, it was amazing. Yeah. I mean, it was like a... 
and I was talking to our, uh, one of our other coaches, uh, uh, Don, and he was like, yeah, yeah, I've got one of those. And yeah, yeah, those things are amazing. And I'm like, he's like, yeah, sometimes I just like sit around with it on. And I'm like, really? And, and I did that. I sit there and watch episodes of Dr. Phil. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and watching like, you know, my, my 16 year old daughter is ruining her life while I had the tinge unit on my back. And it's, and it was great. <laughs> You're like, hey, look at this! Look at, look this. at this! Isn't this crazy? Um, but Big up, that's good. Uh, yeah. So no, that was a great. And again, that will also be in the uh, show description and everything, so you can click on that link. And well, gee, Dave, why? Why are you trying to why? get us to buy something? Why? why do you want us to click on that link? Because the Dave and Doc podcast, ladies and gentlemen, this is how worldwide and and globally dominating we have become. Uh, thank you, Germany. Thank they, you, China. It's, it's 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 Germany. It's definitely Germany. Thank you, Germany. We uh, we actually got approved for an affiliation with Amazon. So sweet. So so here's what I'm going to say to you. Here's how this works. <laughs> I'm going to provide a link. Okay, you click on it. You don't pay anything different than you would have paid anyway on Amazon. You get something that I promise I've, I've used and it works well. It worked well for me. Uh, and then and then Doc and I get like thirty cents. Okay. Wow. So that's, um, I mean, big balling. It might be less than that. Want to be sure. a baller, <laughs> shot caller, 20 inch blades, 20 cent. Less anyone payment. Think, less anyone think this is a, a free it thing is a, for It us is today. a high budget show. <laughs> yes. It, it is a high expense show. High budget. With a, with high very, budget. 20 yeah. cents. Yep. You don't know. We can, we can make something with the uh, 3D printer. We can. We Ish. can. We can. Ish. We can. You know, I got the NFL logo thing here too. Right, look at that. This. Look at that. Look how great that looks. It's probably a trademark infringement there or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, printed this right there on the 3D printer. I mean, that's pretty cool. I thought so. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, but yeah. Was it this is not for the, what is it? What is what is their disclaimer they always put in? I forget what it says. Oh, yeah, the, the, distribution the, the distribution. And, blah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. The distribution. Okay. Don't talk about the NFL, but, right. but we're football fans. Okay. We don't care. You could, <laughs> at one point in time, you could not be a bar and show the Super Bowl on a TV that was over a certain size. Oh, I didn't. What? Oh, yeah. I don't yeah. think I knew that. Now, you could, but you had to contact the NFL and you had to give them some money to kidding. show the Super Bowl that was on broadcast television that wow. you could get with an antenna. I mean, that's called We Like the Money. Yeah. And I'm I'm pretty sure that every bar in America said, yeah, let me tell you what you can do with that. Right. It's a broadcast right. network that you can get for free. Yes. Right. Yes. It's never been on any other network right. that was that you could not get with, right. at one point in time, the rabbit ears. Yes. And now with an HD digital antenna. Um it's it's free. So what so it's like I believe we put it on the big screen. Yeah. At Buffalo Wild Wings. And you couldn't even call it Super Bowl. Like you had to call it the big game. Oh, and like you couldn't even use the term Super Bowl, and I'm like, that's so stupid. But that seems kind of dumb. That's the sport I love. <laughs> they, just, they, just, they just want you to be bleeding money. That's it. They do. Speaking they do. of bleeding, <laughs> look at and you. your health. Look at this transition. Man. You had a bad nosebleed. Man, since we're on the health topic, man, this is a story. And we know man. how much you like blood. So that was the problem. I'm really surprised you're upright and not pale as a ghost right now. So, uh, oh, I was this morning. So I get I get out of bed. I, I'm up early, and then I was doing some stuff, and then and then I decided to get in the shower. You gotta stop that early morning muff diving, man. It can get real dangerous. <laughs> it's, it's. You weren't expecting that shit. Oh, sorry. So, <laughs> that's it. You didn't expect it. No, I didn't. Huh. Not at all. I've officially been kicked out of many things now. Um, um. Doc is now looking for another congregation. Pretty much. Um, Pretty much. But right. So, <laughs> yes. so, uh, so I, I get in the shower like one would, uh, one foot at a time, just like you would put on pants. I, sh- I shut said door <laughs> behind me. Yeah, and and then yeah. you know, and the, and the water's already running. Right. The so, usual, the usual. Yeah. So I mean, this this is not unexpected. No, this is what we do. And I get in the the shower and I sneeze. Yeah. Just I, I bright, <laughs> it, maybe it's the bright light or something. I don't know. I just sneeze. I'm like, oh, yeah. right. No big deal. Well, it was a big deal because it looked like an effing murder scene. It was, and I'm like, oh, well, that's weird. And then it just starts happening. And I'm when I say happening, like it's dripping on my arm. 
and then it's like hitting. The, so you know, like the showers at an angle, right? The water's coming, oh, yeah. like the little yeah. water dots. Yeah. Oh okay. yeah. This looks great on video. Yeah. Uh, very, these very are technical. water dots. Very okay, I'll help you here. Hang on. Let me get in the. Okay. There, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. So we got, I'll, I'll do that part as you're talking. We're doing we're doing the water dots, and so it's dripping and it's hitting the water dots, which with, with the water dot, the water beads, for God's sake. <laughs> And it's spreading the blood like all over our shower, which is, by the way, a cream white color. Oh, that's it good. wasn't this morning. It's good. And so blood is going everywhere. And you remember the scene in Psycho? Yeah. You know, you know, you know, Norman's in there mm-hmm. dressed as his mm-hmm. mom because he identified as his mom, mm-hmm. his dead mother. Yes. <laughs> I'll let that soak in for a second. <laughs> and, is that what it was like in your bed? <laughs> Okay. He, he things are getting things he are getting funky. He identified as his dead mother. Yeah, that's but, right. So, but that's so right. then the blood was going, you know, down the uh, the drain or whatever. That's what it looked like. It was bad, and and it wouldn't stop. And I'm like, what am I gonna do? So so I'm, I'm showering. I'm trying to you know get clean, but at the same time I'm being covered in blood. I'm not. I mean, I'm telling you, it was. I mean, it was just. It was drip, drip, drip. It was at that frequency. I'm telling you, man, I lost seven gallons of blood. I don't know how much you have, but that's how much I lost. Seven I'm, gallons. I'm I, I trapped it. I trapped it all and weighed it. it I'm, was a, I'm amazed that you're standing up. Um, so I'm pretty impressed. So that's very resilient. So, well, hang on. <laughs> oh, it gets better. So, so the blood's going everywhere, and like I gotta get out of the shower, right? And I, you know, I got soap and what little hair I have left, and so like I, I, I get it's like going in my beard. Right, like it's, oh. you know, it's all over me, right? And oh. I mean, blood is everywhere. So I get out of the shower, and here's where it here's where it went south. So I get out of the shower, and I'm walking toward the 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 sink to try to get things under control. And by under control, I mean I'm going to take toilet paper and shove it up my nose. That's what I'm going to do. Get some pressure. Yeah. So, so to do so, I don't want to get blood all over the floor. Mm-hmm. So I'm holding my hand. God, I hope you're watching this on video, folks. So I'm holding my hand under my nose, and it's just. Dri- I mean, it's you no. Know, you you just give a little pinch, just a, yeah. It's a, above the soft. Yeah, yeah or like yeah. The, and yeah. you kind of lean forward a little bit. Did you yeah. do that? So no, not at first. <laughs> I was covered in so much blood. I'm not kidding. Oh, would like, you? St- no, I'm not joking. <laughs> like I was trying to, so it wouldn't like hit the floor, right? Yeah, yeah. And so, like, my hand has blood all over my arm, my chest, my beard is. You not? You, you don't use a washcloth. It, it was covered in blood. I'm just. The, I, I, this is the worst nosebleed I've ever had. And so, like, I've got there's blood everywhere. You're taking too much uh, Tylenol or uh, uh, ibuprofen. Sorry, it's late. Ibuprofen. Um, How much ibuprofen are you taking? Uh, with your back, how much you've been taking? Probably, I don't know. If I do take it, it's usually three or four at a time. How much have you been taking? No, like I haven't taken any for a couple of days. Oh, okay. okay. So, so, but like, uh, maybe two nights, three <laughs> nights ago. Yeah. But you hadn't been taking it like every day for a while. No, okay, no never mind. No. You're good. Um, that actually crossed my mind as a matter of fact, yeah, cause but you'd have to be doing it like a few days in a row and all that. It yeah. Just, so, just every now and then it shouldn't be, that shouldn't be enough to do that. So, so, so anyway, so, so my, my, I've cut my hand and my hand is, is a <laughs> cup of blood. I'm not kidding. It's all over me. And so I get up to our sink and our bathroom upstairs. Did you feel like Carrie? I did. <laughs> and our master bath is, is white. Everything is white. Of course it is. And there's just blood everywhere. Oh, of course it is. And so... And so here we go. So I look down at my hand and I just see blood and I'm like, I got to rinse my hand. And as I move my hand to rinse the blood, and again, I, I'm talking about this slow. This happened very rapidly, right? <laughs> I just wish I could have been there to watch. And so like I watched look at, the unfold. Where I, is Lindsay? When oh, this she, is going? Uh, she was uh, at an appointment with Steven. Oh, so you're actually here by your... Completely by myself. That's fantastic. This is getting better. Well, Landon was here, but I might as well have been by myself. I got Because he's going to be going, oh, Dad's dead, by the way. Uh, yeah, I walked in on Dad, and he, he he looks dead. Oh, no, he's just passed out because there's blood everywhere. So I, I try to rinse my hands off, right? Mm-hmm. Or my hand, mm-hmm. right? But, but again, now your nose is uncovered. But again, the blood is dripping down like this. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. Like, I mean, I, I don't know what to do. And I'm trying not to, so in your mind, you're trying not to make a mess. You know what I mean? Like, it's like one of those where the house is on fire. What's the first thing do you do? You know, well, I turn the TV off and I'm like, it's just your mind isn't working. Uh, so don't call me for an emergency, folks. So, so I, I take my, my hand under the sink, right? I'll nickname you Clutch Panda. <laughs> 
That's what I'm going to call you for now, Clutch Panda. Can I call you Clutch <laughs> yeah, Panda? Yeah, sure CP, CP for short? Sure. Okay, Clutch and, Panda. And so All I right. stick my head under the sink. Dave, and, man, and Clutch I, Panda. And I turn the water on, right? And yes. I get the blood off my head. Yes. But then it's, then it's going everywhere. Right, but and now it's, yes. yes. Right. And so, like, I kind of, I try to sniff. No. You know, because that's what you do. Like, if your nose is running, you go, right. Yeah, shouldn't have done that. It, no, so I did that, and I was like, ugh. And yeah. like I was like, and like it gets on my mouth. Like it's coming down harder. <laughs> it's all over me. Oh, and so when it gets oh, on get my, it off me. when it gets on my mouth or my lips, I just naturally go like this. And then it it's all on, over the mirror. That's what I was And there when it went on the mirror. It's on the mirror. It's on the vanity. Man. And then I'm like, you know what? F it. It's just gonna have to get. I'm just gonna clean this up later. So it's all over the. It's all over. And so like our our bathroom is a. European style bathroom where we have like a shower and then like a closet behind. Like if you're not in Asia, closet. you're not in the United States, European. That's right. Our vanity, but our bathroom, our actual toilet has like a door. So it's got, you know, yeah. you can, you can be in there while other people are doing other things. We like to have parties in there. Right. So, uh, so who does number two work <laughs> for? So, so I go in there, and so to get to the toilet paper, I reach, and when I do, my <laughs> hand is once again covered in effing blood. I'm like, this is net. I'm just going to die here. I have lost a gallon of blood. I am going to die. Shane is going to speak at my uh, funeral. So, uh, so I reach for the the toilet paper, uh, right? This is this is good. And, and when I did, then I get blood all over the roll of toilet yes, paper. That's I'm like, what saying, I gotta right, throw this yes, roll away. Yes, because you couldn't just get yes. So then, like, I'm trying to roll it up, and I put so, so I get a little piece or not a little piece, but like some, and roll it up right. and I, enough I, to actually I, try I, to do something. I tampon it up there, yes. right? Just yes. boom, right? It's it's yes. the easy applicator, right? Yes. Just boom, pop it right in there. Boom, tough acting, tampon <laughs> acting, <laughs> tough <laughs> acting. So. The, it, there was a problem with that, but I'll get back to that. Oh my god! So then, so then I gotta like roll the toilet paper out to get all the right. blood off of it. Right. And I throw that. And you're in still the, and it's still a bloody mess. There's I still blood that, everywhere. I throw that in the toilet, and I'm looking. And I'm like, oh god! I mean, this looks like this looks bad. Like <laughs> if your toilet's full of blood, holy shit, something's wrong. So I, so, I, so, so I flush the toilet, right? And then I realize it's all over the toilet seat. It's all over the floor. It's all over everything. And so, like, I, I I bend over to start trying to clean some of this up. Lightheaded as shit, and it just hits me. There's blood everywhere. And, I mean, my and ass then, almost hit the ground. And then... Because <laughs> we know how I am with blood, right? It's like, it's just like the adrenaline wore off. That's what I was going to say. The adrenaline stopped because you, you realized, oh, my goodness. And so then when I lean over, the, the, the nose tampon is full of blood. And I'm like, oh, well, I need to, I need to pull that out. And then, like, a... Dumbass, I pull that out and I'm leaning over and it just starts leaking like a faucet again. And listen, the whole time, by the way, folks, by the way, I am naked, soaking wet because I got out of the shower and there's blood everywhere. I, I, I felt like Christian Bale, even though I don't look like Christian Bale naked, just, just so you know, in the movie American Psycho, you know? Like where he's just walking around naked and there's blood everywhere. That's where I was. I mean. <sighs> and so, and so then, <laughs> so then. I'm so sorry. God. So then I can't, I can't bend over because it makes it worse. Clutch Panda. Right. So like, I've got this, this like, you know, 17 ply toilet paper shoved up my nose. Yes. And so I'm taking my foot. And like cleaning everything up because I can't bend over because it just makes it worse. I get dressed and dried off and you know all the things you do. Put on my makeup. I'm just kidding. And <laughs> and then I have to then I re- look in the mirror and I realize my 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 beard yes is bloody. It, it's just full of blood. And so I'm like scraping it off. And so I go out to my shed to try to work because I'm working. And I decide to change said tampon to a new tampon. And when I put it up there, for some reason, and I don't know why, because I'm just an idiot, I don't know. I think I'm just not very smart. Clutch Panda. I, I, I put it in there instead of just kind of gently putting it in. I put it in and kind of twist it a little bit. And then it starts the whole thing again. <sighs> so I am talking to you tonight, <laughs> and I've lost at least 15 gallons. No, your color's pretty good to have lost all that. 
Yeah. Well, I, I'm, I'm wearing. We makeup. might have to. We might have to transfusion. We make up. Might, for might the... have to get you to the transfusion center. I don't know. If you do, can you give me like some, uh, like uh, somebody's blood that's like six five, like two. You know what you needed? You really needed some cocaine. Yeah. Think that that would have blocked it up. It would have caused vasoconstriction. Oh, cocaine is a very powerful vasoconstrictor, meaning that the vessel yeah yeah tightens. So when you when you have a bleed of any sort, so if you it's cut, a bursted if you, blood vessel, if you, right? if you, yeah, if you cut yourself or if you get hit in the nose, the first thing your body tries to do is cause vasoconstriction to happen. And what happens is, is that area, unfortunately, is unable to do that, and that's when you start bleeding. But vasoconstriction in in the bleeding process, that is the first thing that tries to happen. Hmm. Um, and your body just can't overcome whatever the lesion is that's happening. And oh, so, you I know, you, 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 you probably have a little, it, it could be a little ulceration. Do you use nasal spray or anything? Uh, yeah, you, you, you prescribed me some. Yeah, the Flonase? Yeah. Have you been using it every day? No, no, I don't okay. use it every day. When was the last, how, in the last two weeks, how often had you been using it? Oh, maybe just once. Nah, it's not last... it either. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, if you were using it day after day, some people will get a nosebleed from the nasal spray, but it's usually, you have to be, it's usually if you're using it consistently day after day, week after week type of thing. Um, so that's probably not it. I mean, it could be really dry in the house. It could be just some irritant stuff. You could have a little vessel that's kind of just, it's like it's wanting to do its own thing. Nasal ulceration, too much cocaine. Um, is there such a thing as you know, too much? <laughs> hit, hitting the pubic bone. I mean, you know, there's there's all kinds of things that, <laughs> that, that could trigger this. Um Electrodes. You could, on my you, could ha, you could have a little right, right. Zzz, zzz, zzz. You could have a little polyp in there. Um, you could have a little little growth or something like that. Um, so things to do if it happens again. Number one, get that in there, but you need to hold the pressure. That's what I did later. Yeah, you, today. But, but that's, yeah, that's but that's, that's the that, it. like. Don't lean your head back. Kind of just come forward a little bit, but hold it just behind like the soft spot. And yeah, get the, get in there. Get the that in there. You can actually if you have Afrin nasal spray. Yeah. If you have Afrin, you can actually, or, or generic Afrin, you can actually spray that up in there. Yeah. And that will actually trigger vasoconstriction to make it stop. Well, how about that? Okay. I tried to carterize it myself, but that, that got painful. So, so and, it, and if, if it if it happens again, I mean, you can you can come to the office. We actually have silver nitrate, and I can actually look up in there and see if I see what's going on, and I can stick the silver nitrate up in there to stop it. Yeah. Oh, is that the stuff that... that is that the same stuff you use, like the, the the tube shit that when you're shaving or whatever? You talking about the white pencil? Yeah. That's the styptic pencil. Now that's aluminum chloride. This is silver nitrate. It's a little bit different, but the principle's kind of the same. Right. Right. Yes. Yes. It's kind of the same principle. Yeah. And, and the the silver nitrate it definitely stings. Um. So I mean, it's a it's a little bit of a eye watering experience. Um. But it will stop it from bleeding. I've had to do that to folks in the office before. Well, uh, you have, and as a matter of fact, they came by and and ex- to lend and, some and, sympathy and shared some exclusive audio. Uh, for when you did that to them, like you laid them down and you said, "All right, here we're going to do this," and then oh, and that was it. And um, that's almost what I said today when I almost hit the floor. Covered in my own blood. He hit the flow. Next thing you know, nosebleed got low, 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 low. Hey, it was red like the 49ers, though. It was. Um, Paul's Red Devils. Hey, there was there was one time that I had uh, the, the cherry-flavored NyQuil. Yeah. And I had this horrible cold. Yeah. Horrible cold. Yeah. And I was like, I, I came home in the middle of the day. This was years and years ago. And I'm like, oh God, I just I just need to go to sleep. You know what I mean? Like you just you just it's like I just need like my body is saying you're done. Yes, you've tried to do too much. Yes, you are sick. Been known to happen. And so like so I I drink some, <clears throat> I drink some cherry Nyquil, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, and I and I get a little cup, right? You know, you, you take yep, it. Yeah, little, little, you know, little mls. Yeah, you know, and you know, you salute and you, and you, you take it. And it went. It kind of went the wrong direction. Like it's went on the wrong tube oh, or whatever. It came out the and nose. I went Ugh! and like. And like I didn't, the, the lights were off, so I didn't realize it. So I'm like, oh, screw it, I'm just gonna go to bed, rinse the cup out or whatever. And like, you know, then like later, it's like, holy shit, there's a murder scene. It was everywhere. That's what my bathroom looked like, but it actually was blood. It actually was blood. It was 19 and a half gallons. I feel like I might be adding more to this every time. Yeah, about <laughs> 17 or so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I did lose some. No, absolutely. There was definitely an absolutely. ounce. I definitely lost an ounce. 
I, 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 I had to lose more than an ounce, actually. It, it probably was more than an ounce, I would say. I mean, the, 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 the shower was covered in it. You've got, typically, it's around about, you've got about one and a half gallons. I think that's about right. Oh, about, I was out. How much? <laughs> I was completely out. <laughs> I was out. That was it. <laughs> I almost had to start the mass transfusion protocol they on just, you. Uh, you need to put a cordis line in <laughs> and run that sucker in there. That's it. I was just, I was that's done. it. I was done. I had no more blood left in me. Thank God you were working from home. Gosh. Yeah. I, I mean, that could have been, that could have been tr- just, just even. Mm, I mm. mean, good God. I mean, when you, I'm tired of this old, sh- I'm getting so old. Shift's just bleeding. Like, I just want to be done with this. Like, I just don't. Cut I, me, Mick. Cut me. I just. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. I mean, how many times in your life have you had a I catastrophe from a nosebleed? Right. Like a catat. I mean, it, clutch panda. But see, I'm such a creature of habit, though. So I'm in the shower, and I'm like, "Well, I can't get out of the shower. I'm not finished." Right. Like I'm such a creature of habit. Right. And it's like, well, Dave, you're bleeding everywhere. Perhaps no, no, that's not right. I'm gonna finish what I'm doing. Uh, you know, I had, I had a hernia repair years ago. Mm-hmm. And 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 the surgeon, I mean, he was like, "Hey, man, listen, don't take a shower for like two days." I said, "Okay." He goes, "Listen to me, don't take a shower for two. Like he said it because I mean, apparently my response to him was one like, "Yeah, whatever." And he was like, "No, I know that response. I'm telling you not to do it, or you know, you're gonna crash and crack your skull open." And so, you know, on day number two, I'm like, yeah, God, I need a shower, right? <laughs> get in the shower, blood pressure hits, and then like I start getting woozy. And immediately, what I should have done is just get out of the shower, yes, right? or sit down, or sit down. Yes, but but no, I'm in the middle of the shower. I can't do that. I have to. I have to finish the shower. I'm an odd duck. He hit the flow. Next thing you know, <laughs> Dave man got low, 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 low. He covered in blood. Covered in blood, and the bathroom is too. And Lindsay brought me home a biscuit. Lindsay came home and said, "Damn shoe." She came. She came. She brought me a biscuit home, and like I come, you know, I come in the house <laughs> to get it, and like I've got a tampon sticking on my nose. She goes, "What the hell's wrong with you?" And I'm like, "It's, it's a long story." Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I've been bleeding. Just know I've cleaned up all the blood. Right. All the evidence is gone. That's it. That's Don't it. ask questions. That's it. And then I got a splinter. <sighs> Man, you've had a rough day. I have. You're going to be all right. I, I, I got the splinter out. That was strong work. It, it really, God, it hurt. Like I had to dig it out. It's just, I mean, this crap. I'm so old. He's not aging gracefully. And, and then and then I get on the uh, the interweb. He, the interweb and 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 I see that the Indiana Jones dun, uh, dun, dun, part dun, dun, five dun, dun, uh, got terrible reviews dun, 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 at the cans. It, did we can? It's, it's can. can it's not fi- con. No, it's not cons. It's not canis. It's not cans. It's can. It's can. French. It's can. You know what? That you stupid Americans. You do not even know how to pronounce anything. But that, the, that sounded nothing like, but yeah, it's canned. It's pretty good. It's canned. Wee um, wee. Oui, wee oui. wee. Oui, oui. uh, which is what they were doing all over the movie. <laughs> they, they, I mean, it was not. We good talked reviews. about this. Yeah. I told you they should have never had number four, the Crystal Skull thing. That was bullcrap with Shia LaDouche Le, and all the things. That was dumb. That was dumb. Yeah, and now like people, and now they're now they're panning it again. One oh guy, my God, he's eighty. The guy's guy eighty he was years just, old. So one one person said, "Listen," he said, "If you love Indiana Jones, you're gonna love it." So because there's enough nostalgic stuff in the movie sure. that you're like, "God, I which, love Indiana," which Jones. was probably the purpose of the movie, right? But but one person said, "Oh my God, I got so bored in this movie." Well, what did they want? I mean, I don't I understand. Don't, I don't know. I I mean. I, I don't know. Last Crusade was such a good movie. And, and you know, all, all the people, the Spielbergs, the Lucases, and everybody said that that was intended to be the last one. Because in the end of the movie, they rode off into the sunset. Right. That was intended to be the last one. Yes. And they didn't do it. And then Kingdom of the... Crystal Skull. Crotch Skull came out and... I, but they didn't do that one, did they? 
They were a part of like it was a Lucasfilm it. still. I, I don't but know. It's if, not the same. Well, and see, but here's the other thing. I mean, look at Star Wars. You know, I mean, right. And, and and now they've had all the spinoff stories, and I mean, what what killed part of that was Han was was Solo was not yeah you know that great received. Rogue One was a great movie. I really like Rogue One. I no, I thought it was really good, but yeah, Solo kind of killed some of that, and then and then the um, the rise of Skywalker just was. <laughs> Force Awakens was okay. The Last Jedi, it was okay. What's the dude's name that was um, um, Kylo Ren? Yeah, Kylo Ren. What was his name? In in, in real, yeah, like real life. What was his uh, name? Adam Driver. Uh, Jim Phillips. Uh, a- a- Adam Driver. Um, <laughs> I don't know what name is. It's Minnie Driver's brother. Minnie Driver from Goodwill Hunting. It's her actual that's her bro- brother. That's her, that's her oh. brother, Adam Driver. He's rumored to be in going to be in the new Fantastic Four movie. And oh, here's really? the thing. I actually think he's a really good actor. Yeah. He was not good in that. Well, role. and the, the voice, the voice with that, with his mouthpiece and the, all the things, it yeah. just did the, the acoustics weren't very good. And he just looked, I mean, he just he just did not sound it, it no, that did could, not that did be, not make me fear him. Because he's well, and maybe that was intentional. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, know. but but I mean, his yeah, he was he was Ben Solo. I mean, I think it should have been Ben Solo for how long? Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, but he became Kylo Ren. Yeah, and then he stabbed Indiana Jones, and it pissed me off. Which that, but that was that was one of Harrison Ford's yeah um, requests. He did. He that, said, that "I'm, was on I'm his list. done." He's with... Like if you're if we're gonna do this, you have to kill me off. Yeah. And that's where if you're Spielberg or Lucas, you say, no. Is that absolutely not? You're you're Indiana Jones. <laughs> that would be my answer to everything. No, you're you're Indiana Jones. Dun, 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 um, dun, dun, dun. Chewy. So I'm just I'm upset. Like I I'm gonna go see it, of course, on opening night. Listen, don't listen to here, here's I, there's been plenty of movies the critics over the years have have, have just whooped upon that are not bad movies. Jason takes Manhattan. Oh my god. One of the greatest was, pieces was, of cinema ever. That was not what came to mind. It was like under siege, dark territory. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I mean, blood sport. Yeah. You know, um, blood sport. I mean, <laughs> I'm not, telling you not right critically now. acclaimed. Kumite. Kumite. I've probably watched that movie a hundred times. <laughs> I Me mean, too. My body's ready. My heart's on fire. Yeah, man. That girl with that perm. Yes. Whatever her name was. Yeah, Leah Ayers. Yeah. Oh, was that her? I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just called her Slutty McSlutterson. I don't know. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know. I don't know. Was she a reporter? Like, why was she yes, in the movie? Yes, she, she was a reporter. She showed up to, like, watch to hot in. guys fight. That was the, the she had, idea. She had to sneak into the kumite. And at the end, she goes, wait, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> As he's getting on the plane. Right? That's 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 a classic. You know, anyway. The only thing that could have made that movie worse would have been Steven Seagal in it. Right, right. Where Steven Seagal runs and his hand goes like this when he runs. I mean, it's not a manly run. No. It is, and that's that's probably not, that's not the nice way of putting that. But Every time I see him run, this is is terrible. My mom listens to the podcast, but I'm just going to say this. But every time, (laughs) every time I watch him run, it looks like my mom trying to catch a beach ball. And I can't get this out of my my mind. My mom trying to catch a beach ball (laughs) with her arms up and just like waving them around, hoping that the ball just, you know, aerodynamically falls into her hands by some magic uh, principle of gravity that's been discovered. Oh my gosh. But every time I see him run, is it? Because I mean, he's got the one hand. It is not. Yeah, it's not. It's not a man. Steven Seagal. Nobody likes working with him. They all think he's a jackass. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know. Maybe he is and maybe he's not. I don't know. I mean, the Alfred Justice scene where he takes a cue ball and whoops all those dudes. I mean, that's a pretty good scene. But but yeah, he runs like a sissy. What was the movie oh. where the... Uh, <coughs> who was it? Was that Jet Li? Um, oh, the yeah. replacement killers where yeah. he kicks the, the, the ball up <coughs> from the, the... Yes. And then like he kicks the ball from the pool table up and then spins around and hits it to hit a dude. Yes. And, yes. And uh, Hottie McOtterson says, wow. And all the things. <laughs> This is how old I'm getting. I just call everybody. You're Jim Phillips, and I don't even know who that is. You're Jim Phillips or Hottie McOtterson. That's okay. Slutty okay. McSlutterson. Slutty McSlutterson. Um, with red hair. With red hair. Um, that's it. Uh, just saying. Just there's saying. There's no coming back from that. No. <laughs> there's really not. There's no segue. Um, 
There's no segue. Uh, while we're just complaining about stuff like old men. Right. Um, right. You know, we're, we're on the YouTube. Yes. It's a little video platform maybe you've heard of. Yes. Uh, folks out there. Yes. Thank and, you to all our subscribers. Uh, yeah. You got uh, four, uh, 400 something subscribers and uh, 420. So, yeah, I think it is 420. 420. <laughs> yes. And puff puff pass. And so, like, and I think last week we had like nineteen hundred views or something. Yeah, like on our, so, no, I mean, that's awesome, and I, that's great. Yes, um, it's don't, just don't mess this up. But but like <laughs> the, the YouTube analytics are, are just so. So there's like a page, like a, it's called a creator studio for you folks who've never actually done a video on YouTube and like tried to watch the analytics, what, right? <clears throat> and like, what it was a t- yeah. So but, so like we had so like so what does it tell us? Well, shit, I don't know. Because okay. the problem is it <laughs> changes every three seconds. And here's how stupid it is, right? I can look at it on this computer that I'm on. I'm pointing at this computer. Yes. Actually, the computer's down there. Yes. I but, understand. Uh, I understand. But, I understand. But, but, but like I can the look screen. At, at this computer. Yes. I can look at it on this device. Yes. I can go out into the shed yeah. and look at it on the, on the Mac Mini out there. I can look at it on my laptop. I can look at it on my tablet. Yeah. All of them say something different. Hmm. All of them. Okay. And then you give it a couple of days and it's like it kind of reverses. Like one will say something way lower, then you log into another one and it says something now higher. I've asked said YouTube this question. Pray tell, friends at YouTube, what is wrong with your analytics? And they say things like, well, it's a constant calculation. Well, I mean, so is a clock. <laughs> that mean it's a constant calculation it it might be a constant calculation but it's not a consistent calculation it, it, it makes no sense what's it calculating so it calculates a couple things so it cal- what calculates the inflection of my voice yes that's right that's, that's right that was it that, that's what it calculates. i'm talking this this way on purpose um it's uh so it calculates how many total views you have oh life lifetime of your channel okay it calculates how many hours people have watched yes. your content. Yes. Uh, and it counts how many subscribers you have. And then you can get very granular with it. Like you can look at, you know, this episode did better for whatever reason. You can look and like what audience did it hit, you know. Oh. Um, and, and, you know, had more, it, more listeners in Germany. Was it, well, you can, right. You can look at region. You can look at male versus female versus uh versus all kinds of stuff you know mm. and you know male versus female whatever you think you are it's just fine um <laughs> cuz you are amazing just that's, the way that's, you that's that's going to be an episode one day i watched a great video about matt Walsh. her versus him mark versus kim <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> um and, and so, so you watch all those. So, so like the analytics just change. Mm. Like it's like, and here's the here's the funny thing, right? Because me being me, I'm setting up one night, and I'm like, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way. I'm just gonna add this shit up yes. in my head. Yes. And I know it's a lot of episodes, and I had to use my toes. Yes. Okay. Yes. But I'm like, with I'm, no nosebleed. It's like, and again, I was estimating, right? Like, I mean, if it was 1900 one week and then 2300 one week, I'm like, eh, if, if, uh, whatever, four grand or four, four grand, 4,000. And so, like, I mean, I didn't get like down to the, you know, right. But, but like, and just looking at it, I'm like, right. oh, well, one of the logins <clears throat> on one of the computers is really close to being what I just came up with. And one of them's way lower. So again, I asked YouTube this question, and their answer was, "We calculate things." That was essentially what they said. I'm like, "Well, d- I we're gonna get thrown off YouTube." What? Oh no, there's tons of videos about this on YouTube about oh. people that who do not understand the who analytics. do not understand the analytics. Again, none of them are really negative because they're all positive. Can we win the Super Bowl with these analytics? That's what I really want. <laughs> no. Oh dang no! It. Dang it! We're gonna, it's gonna be fourth and inches on the goal line. Oh. And we're gonna throw a pass instead of running. More and we're gonna land. Tony Romo that crap. Yeah, and there you go. Oh, bloop bloop bloop. Talk about man. Tony's looking rough. He's not looking good, is he? No. I'm like, are you? I don't know. Do you think something's wrong with the 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 Romes? Yeah, it's called. I'm not. I'm not playing athletic sports. And, and he's kind of redundant. I'm not playing athletic <laughs> things. And I'm, I'm no longer an athlete. I'm eating a lot of Subway. 
Yeah, he's got to watch himself because you know he he he's married to uh, Hottie McCodderson, yeah, uh, who's like a beauty queen, right? Like she yeah. like won a pageant. Uh, was her, is it Cassidy? Is that her name? Uh, Cassidy Romo. I, I, she's, Cassidy. Cassidy. Uh, she's her her brother. Marissa Romo. So her brother uh, is Candace, an actor. Candace Romo. Candace. Candace. Her brother's Candace. Her, her her brother's an actor, um, and then she. She won a pageant and then and then fell backwards into money with Tony Romo. There you go. Um, uh, and not that she wouldn't have done that anyway. Go she Tony, was gorgeous! It's your birthday. He went from Stop like eating Carrie hope. Underwood and to, to Jessica Simpson to uh, her, uh, and maybe some people in between. I don't know. And yeah, he's not looking good though. Mm-mm. He's really not. Um, Mm-mm. Maybe it's too many Coronas, and it didn't. He didn't sound good last year either. No, like I there, know he got really, really critiqued for yeah. all of that. I said it's like he was just showing up and just hoping he could just like wing it. Yeah. Um, yeah. And Phil Sims got to the point where he tried to do that too, and now he's in the studio. And now Phil is in the studio, and Tony took his job, which is funny. But <laughs> that's the way it goes. That's the it's way. Just the way it goes. That's how broadcasting is. Life of a broadcaster. That's it, man. That's a what professional you broadcaster. Professional broadcaster. And you're with Jim Nance, who's a legend. So I mean, you know, I mean that. Yeah, I mean that's. that's like but saying, I mean, Nance is for Nance. That's what they always say. Say Nance is for Nance. You know, but he doesn't want a bad show. No. Um. You know, but no. But, but yeah. Anyway. Um. Anyway. Yeah. So uh, the Lakers lost. Thank goodness. How about that? Uh, uh, got swept. swept. Celtics, uh, as we started this show tonight, were actually winning yeah, the they game. Were, yeah. They were they're they're down three one. No team in NBA history has come down come back from three zero three zero. So still, that's a long shot. But um, though I think they'll win tonight. It looked like they were going to, but I'm not betting against Jimmy. No, for the rest of the series. No, and I was so happy to see the Lakers lose in the fashion they lost. It. How about that? I know, right? I mean, I mean, and what really is, I mean, close games, too. It's not like they necessarily got blown out. Just the one game they got blown you out, know, and the rest of them were like but, two, three, but five I mean, point games. But, I mean, man, tough. Yeah, tough tough stuff. LeBron I mean, missed the game winner. Well, I mean, he got blocked. They blocked it. He did. You That's know. Just, you know. I'm telling you. He got, he missed. He did miss. He did. And now he's he's contemplating retirement. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. How old is LeBron now? 38. 38? Yep. yep. Uh, 38 years old. He's probably got a couple years left. I still think he really wants to play with his son for one season. But, I, I mean, but I just don't see how they're going to make that happen because of the way the contracts work. I don't either. Um, I just I don't. I just don't. Because they're not, you know, the Lakers aren't going to tank. So, if he stays with them, and, I mean, his son goes pro, he's probably, I mean, he's not going to be, well, depending on how he does him, he's going to go to USC. He'll play a year, see where everything's at. I mean, but he's not, he's not, if he's, if he's really, really good, he's not going to drop late in the rounds. And if the Lakers are doing well, they're not going to be able to get him. I don't know. I don't know. You know, and would you really draft him or what would you pick? Cause I don't know that that's what they need. Well, I, so, I mean, they made some good moves to try to get to the playoffs. They just didn't quite have enough once they got in the playoffs. Plus the Nuggets. I mean, who knew the Nuggets? I mean, my goodness, they just got all, they're just clicking. Yeah, they really are at the right time of year. And I don't know. I and again, I didn't. I, I, I think that'd be. I think that'd be awesome for them to win because I don't. I don't think the Nuggets have ever won a title in the NBA. I don't believe. I don't think so. I don't think so. So I would love to see that. I would love. I would love to see them get that. But I'm not betting against Jimmy Butler ever again because I mean Jimmy <laughs> Butler put the team that I thought was going to win the whole thing out. Uh, put them out. Right. And cost Mike Buttonholzer his job. Buttonholzer. <clears throat> I mean that crazy. I mean, you know, you you stink and win the championship like two years ago, and then you get fired. That's, it, I mean, the NBA. I mean, it, Nick Nick Nurse gets fired. You know, Monty Williams, whatever Monty, whatever he gets fired. I mean, it's crazy. The NBA is just a dumpster fire. Yes, I just think it is. I yes. I I stopped being a fan a long time ago, and had Steph Curry not come around. Probably man, piss on Steph Curry. I wouldn't have watched. I'm not. A, uh, I like Clay Thompson better. I'm not. A, I'm not. A, yeah. I like Clay and, Thompson. And, and anybody that plays on team with Draymond Green, I <laughs> no, I'm not rooting for. Him. I'm sorry. I hate Draymond Green. It's like they were just exciting to watch. I just wish. I just wish 
he played back in the day with like Lane Beer. Oh, I know. And, I mean, and, that would have been and 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 flipping Charles Barkley and some of those guys because he wouldn't have done squat. They they no, would they would have absolutely just destroyed his punk butt. And I mean, I just I can't stand him. <laughs> I just can't stand him. He's so arrogant. I'm like, you would have gotten your <laughs> stupid fat ass just beat up and down the court. <laughs> You'd have been nothing. And they just think, oh, he's just so good. He's he's the catalyst. He's this. He is. He needs to shut his mouth. I can tell you this. Stand him. I they wouldn't have won a championship him. without Curry. Well, sure, but I mean, they just wouldn't have. I don't care how good he is. I agree. I mean, I agree. You no. got you got a dude that's shooting it from half court, and you just assume he's going to make it. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you know, without a doubt, pure shooter. It's hard to not say he's the best ever. It's 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 really hard to say. Yeah. Now. Um, best basketball player? No. Oh no. Top five? No, he's not of all time. No, I don't not. think so either. No, he's not. No, I don't think so either. No. Spud Webb? No, <laughs> is the greatest player. There's videos on YouTube of Spud Webb like still dunking at like age fifty at five. Are you seven. serious? He can still get up. Dude's got some hops. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. He's representing for all of us five footers oh, right? out yeah. there. <laughs> My. Lest anyone think I'm the same height as Doc because of these cameras. That is not the case. It's okay. It's okay. Doc is spry. D- Doc is four foot two, <laughs> six nine. That's <laughs> hello, <laughs> hello. Yeah. You ever? I, I, so you have this hasn't happened to you, but I, I don't uh, realize uh, yeah. how short I am sometimes until I see myself in a picture and I'm like, holy shit! I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a girl who looked good. I would call her. <laughs> I wish I had a rabbit with a hat and a bat, a six foot baller. I got a rabbit in the backyard. Skilo, I got a thumper in the backyard and thumper. a bloody nose. And a bloody nose. <laughs> thumper and a bloody nose. I don't know what Kicking rab- it now because we don't love them hoes. Oh. I don't know what rabbits eat. Other than like I, we leafy talked, stuff, we, man. We just I, I talked about I know, this. They don't like, eat carrots. Like I, I just I mean, or like, can you buy like rabbit food? Like Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. It's, like, probably, it's probably like that concentrated little pellet shit. Yeah. I want to yes. get him that in a little, little bowl to drink out of. A little, a little bowl. A little bowl. A little bowl of water. A little bowl. You could just make like a little stream. Maybe he would drink out of that. You could like dig, a, dig, a, little, dig a little ditch there in the backyard and let it just kind of run down through there. I, I, it, part of me is like, because I read some stuff online, it's like, don't do that to rabbits because then they're going to depend on you for food. And then they stop going out looking for food. And then they die. And they get really fat. And they're no longer they're no longer the hunter scavenger. Yeah, they're not really a hunter. They're scavengers. And do rabbits bite? Yeah. No. Oh. Well, I don't want. I don't want to mess with that. <laughs> you get rabies. I don't want to get syphilis from a. Can you get syphilis from a? Not that I'm aware of. Are they asking you to test? I think rabbits. You, I think for, for I, was say, I <laughs> think. Um, I think if you got syphilis from the rabbit, we'd have to be wondering what exactly you did with the rabbit. Well, I, I mean, I bumper. Just wanted to show the rabbit that I love. I come it. home, <laughs> the rabbit just wants to have fun out in the sun. He's he's so he's oh, got Thumper Deer, you know you're still number one. And he, Dave, he wanna have fun. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got so he's got so he's got um so he's got uh he lives under the shed and then he's got a couple of burrow holes to go out like out of our back fence and then he lives under the deck too. He's got like a little shit. He's got like a little uh, shack under the deck as well. So he's living a good life. Man. He's in one of the five burrows. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. One of the five burrows. He's got a lot of attitude. He's, he's, got, <laughs> he's got from the, he's from the five burrows. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so a little bit shorter today a little bit know, shorter but but we got it in we're glad and again always a good time thank always you thank time. you germany thank you canada thank you china germany. um on a on a to end on a serious note please please click on that link GoFundMe, the cantrell family yeah you know. absolutely yeah that, that'll be in the description and uh yeah anything you can do to help the family Tens unit whatever Tens unit that that'll be there as well um Great fight, great night. Great fight, great night. I'm going to go put some electrodes somewhere in my body. That's it. I'm not sure where. It'll cause another nosebleed, for God's sakes. Watch out for the gooch. <laughs> Be good. See y'all right, later. See you, folks. Bye.